Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. You're familiar with Hattori-san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami-san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia Chan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Curé clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet. To wait for that to just happen naturally. So, I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. At the time, Hashki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon, we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes, he drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting-edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? A.D. 9. Minister Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hashki now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. And what makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, Along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hashki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 that met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? It's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. The ADDC is hiding something. I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. 
And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. Hattori-san. Mafu, you almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. Hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go.